Here we'll show how to set up uh, Mach 3 software. The first thing you do is install the software. Second thing is load the uh, license file. The way you do that is you copy the license file into uh, the Mach 3 working directory, which is uh, usually going to be under C and then Mach 3. Copy that file into that folder and then start again Mach 3. Uh, once you do that, you'll see the screen. The first thing we'll do is config set set native units and select inches. Second step is uh, config and then ports and pins. We'll select uh, motor outputs. Um, for our drivers, you would do uh, in step pin number two, dear pin number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Make sure that all X, Y, Z, and A axes are enabled. Um, another very important thing is the step port and dear port all have to be one. So you notice that X, the step and dear ports are one, Y, Z, and A. Uh, axes uh, B, C, and spindle are not used. Um, these pins do not matter at this time and then click on the apply and then OK. Next thing is config ports and pins again this time choose input signals and for right now scroll down until you see the E stop and just set it to uh, active low by clicking it once apply and OK again Next step is config motor tuning. We'll set uh, the FC line of machines uh, have to be set as follows. X axis uh, is 4000 and we'll set the velocity at let's say 35. Acceleration let's set it to 9 and then click on save axis. If you don't click on the save axis the program won't remember this so make sure you do that for each axis. We'll set the y-axis as well uh, 4000 and then velocity is 35 acceleration is 9 and click on the save axis. Same thing with the Z 4000 and this is 4000 steps per inch 35 9 and save axis for the last axis A, 4,000, 35, and 9. Make sure you click on Save Axis Settings, and then I can go back, and I can see that all axes are basically the same. Once you do that, click OK. The next step is to set the hotkeys by doing Config uh, System Hotkeys. With the hotkeys, you can control all four axes of the machine. By default, uh, the X and Y movements are set to the um, uh, cursor keys on your keyboard. They would be on the right bottom side of your keyboard. There was the arrows up, down, left, and right. What we want to do is now set the uh, left side of the machine to work as well. So what we'll do is we'll click on the Z++ and then it says press any key. We'll choose the D button on the keyboard. Uh, the Z minus minus we'll click it once and then we'll click on the A button on the keyboard. The A slash U++ we'll click on the W button and the A U minus minus will click on the Z button and just make sure that your numbers are exactly as uh, shown here on this screen. Click OK.